So you've got your new grinder and semi-automatic espresso machine, but where to start? How do you make a good espresso? Hi, Mark here from Whole Lot They Love. Today, I'll take you through the basics of how to get the right grind size so you can make a good espresso. Grind size is critical when making espresso. The process of finding the right grind size, that's called dialing in. To dial in, you time how long it takes to pull a given liquid volume and make adjustments to grind size to change that timing. Your goal is to produce a double espresso in 20 to 30 seconds from first drift from the portafilter spouts. Now, I'm gonna keep it simple in this video. If you're an old hat at espresso, you know things can get a lot more involved than simply timing shots. For those new to making espresso, this basic technique, it's gonna get you in the ballpark and then you can make refinements from there. Before you start, make sure your machine is fully warmed up with the portafilter locked in place so it's heated as well. Depending on machine type, warm up can take anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes. You'll also want a good whole bean coffee. Now, any coffee can be used to make espresso, but if you're new and learning, it helps to use a coffee that is known to make a good crema rich espresso. Three of my favorites, Lavazza Super Crema, Maromas Orfea, and Coffee Mio Officio. All three are very easy to work with. They're Italian style bean blends which produce crema rich shots when the grind is right. The Lavazza and Maromas are roasted in Italy and when stored properly they hold up really well. The Coffee Mio is a 100% Arabica blend that's grown organically. It's roasted in Australia and then air shipped to us on a regular basis so it's very fresh. Assuming you're working with a capable coffee, the key to making good espresso is control of variables. As you pull a number of shots and dial into the right grind size, you want all other variables to remain the same. We only want grind size adjustments to affect the extraction. So when dialing in, remember you've got to be consistent with the other main variables which are dosing weight, tamp, and brew temperature. Your goal when dialing in, again, it's to produce a two ounce, that's about 60 milliliter, espresso in 20 to 30 seconds from first drip from the portafilter spouts. For initial grind size, adjust your grinder to produce a coffee particle size that looks and feels like it's just a hair finer than granulated sugar. So, run your grinder for a few seconds, get those fingers in there, feel the grinds, and make adjustments and repeat as needed to get that slightly finer than granulated sugar consistency. Now, depending on your grinder, there may be some grind retention. So, as you make adjustments, the first grinds that come out may be at the old grind size. So, after an adjustment, run the grinder for a few seconds to flush out the old grinds before you judge the effect of your grind size changes. For weight of coffee dose, I'm going to suggest you use 16 to 18 grams. That's a typical dose range for a double espresso. Why doubles and not singles? Well, doubles are really a, just a whole lot easier to pull. As you fill the filter basket, you want a nice even distribution of ground coffee. I'm using a Chiato E5P grinder, which does a good job of distributing the grounds. Now, if you don't have a scale, no problem. Just overfill slightly and use your fingers to level the ground coffee in your filter basket. Be careful not to press down as you level. Just loosely overfill a bit and gently swipe off excess ground coffee to make it level with the top of the filter basket. With most double shot filter baskets, feeling like this should result in a 16 to 18 gram dose. And if you use the same fill and level technique each time, that consistency again, you should be within half a gram or so of dosing weight shot to shot. Use a quality tamper to compress the ground coffee in the filter basket. The most important thing when tamping is to produce a smooth and level surface. Actual tamping pressure is not really all that critical. You can use a light tamp or a hard tamp. What is critical is using a similar pressure each time you tamp. You want your tamping pressure, again, you want it to be consistent. I'm using an Aspro calibrated tamper. It gives a little when tamping, so it's easy to get that consistency shot to shot. Place your tamper gently onto the coffee, then press down evenly. You want all edges of the tamper to remain parallel to the edges of the filter basket as you compress the coffee. My personal technique is to tamp firmly, then spin the tamper lightly to polish the surface, 
tamp firmly again and polish the surface again. After tamping, have a look at the surface of the coffee. If it's lower on one side, the tamp is uneven and it's going to leave an area where brew water can run through the coffee faster. That uneven tamp can cause channeling and throw off the timing of an extraction. If you end up with a tamp that looks like this, you need to discard that coffee and try again. Now, before you attach the portafilter and start an extraction, you may need to flush a bit of brew water. This is commonly required in many single and heat exchange boiler machines to get rid of an initial shot of overheated brew water. Flushing requirements are going to vary by machine type and for some, like the more expensive PID machines, you do not have to flush. I'm using a Profitech Pro 500. It's our most popular heat exchange machine and is one that does best with a short flush before brewing. Not sure if you should flush? Well, let me know in those comments what machine you are using and I can give you some advice. A clear indication you do need to flush is if your machine puts out steam or turbulent water flow when put into brew mode without a portafilter attached. If you're unsure about flushing, just go ahead and do one. It'll clean any residual coffee from the shower screen. Just turn on till brew until there's no steam and the water flow is smooth. This shouldn't take more than a few seconds. With your portafilter loaded and the machine ready, let's pull a shot. Again, we want about two ounces of espresso in 20 to 30 seconds from first drip. I'm using a rattleware shot pitcher to measure volume and timing with the stopwatch on my smartphone. I start the timing with the first drip and as you can see, it's coming really fast. I'll have two ounces way faster than 20 seconds. So I'm gonna need to adjust my grind finer. So I turn my grind setting to finer and try again. Now I'm not really sure how much finer I should set it, so I make a guess and turn the adjustment this far. Here's the next shot with that adjustment. Looks like I made the grind too fine this time. I'm barely getting any drip at all. No way I'll have two ounces in under 30 seconds. So I adjust the grind about halfway back toward the coarser setting I started with, clear out any residual grinds, Fill the portafilter, level, tamp, and try again. This shot is still on the slow side. I'm at 30 seconds and still under two ounces. So one more grind adjustment, just a notch or so further toward the core setting, and here's the end of the shot after the grind size change. Now, that's what we're looking for with two ounces coming in the 20 to 30 second range. Now, it's not unusual for dialing in the grind size to take a few shots, so be ready to use some coffee. A few tips, first, be consistent. Use the same coffee dose weight and tamping pressure for each shot as you dial in. It takes some judgment to determine how much adjustment you should make each time, but as you zero in, make smaller adjustments. A Couple other things to be aware of, first, as Beans age, or if you change the coffee you are using, you will likely need to tweak your grind size a bit. A grind setting that works for one coffee doesn't necessarily work for another. If you have any questions about dialing in grind size or anything coffee, use those comments and I'll be sure to get you the answers. I'm Mark, thanks for watching, and I hope you'll subscribe and come back soon for more of the best on everything coffee, brought to you by Whole Latte Love. Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love. Oh.